everybody, it's Amy, and you have found Amy Loves Crochet. In today's video, I want to show you three different things that I've made based off of Bag o' Day Crochet. Crystal set up some tutorials, as she sets up a zillion tutorials. She's amazing. If you haven't found her already, please go look for her, Bag o' Day Crochet. Um, and so she made three things recently. Well, she made a lot of things recently, but I made three of them. And so one of them is this bucket hat. I didn't intend to make it look like a um, fishing hat, but my son said that it did since it's khaki. It kind of looks like a fishing hat. Um, but what I did is uh, the pattern is two strands together of um, any worsted weight. This is um, acrylic, but you can use cotton if you'd like as well. And I just used some sweet rolls. So um, this colorway is uh, Cheesecake Pop. And this was just some stash that I had that I wanted to get rid of. So my little space down here is getting smaller. Yay! Um, so yeah, so here's our little bucket hat. And again, um, there's nothing in the brim, but it's just two strands held together. So you can kind of fold it in the way you'd like. I thought that was really great. Alrighty. Um, and then another thing that I don't think it's new. I think I've seen that there were other videos from long ago out there or from other people. But um, Crystal did a Japanese knot bag, which is a bag that has one side that's short and fat, one handle that's short and fat, and one handle is long and skinny. And you put this through the short and fat side, the long skinny side through the short fat side, and then here is your Japanese knot bag. And, you know, you can just hold it on your arm like this as you shop. You can make um, this strap longer and put it on as a crossbody. You can line the bag. You, I have not yet, but I do plan to. Um, she made hers out of cotton, but I used uh, acrylic because I was just trying to use up stash again. And um, this stitch is a great stitch. Uh, it's just a single crochet and then a treble crochet. And if you know how to make bobble stitches, they're kind of a pain in the patootie because you've got to pull your hook out and then put it back in to pull through. Um, but this is like a little, a little faux bobble because you do a single crochet and then a treble crochet, so it kind of bunches up on itself when you go back in to do the next single crochet. And that's where this um, design comes from, is the little bobblies like that. So um, yeah, this was a fun one to make. Um, I would like to make another crochet, uh, another Japanese knot bag, but have the bag be a different pattern. You can really do this bag, the bag in any design, any stitch at all. Um, it's just a rectangle that you sew up the sides to. So you really can make it in any stitch count, any multiples, you know, any, any, change it up any way you'd like it. But the Japanese knot part of it is the handles, I believe. So um, that was fun to make, and I will line it, and I will make another one. So we'll see how that turns out, the, the rest of those turn out as I make some more. The last one here that I'm going to show you, I saved the best for last, the piece de resistance. I can never say that right. The piece de resistance. <laughs> so um, what Crystal did was she took these single skeins of um, var variegated colored yarn um, that are Sesame Street and um, each one of them is set to be a hat, like a little beanie hat, and then you put the little um, character head in the center of the hat. So there's Big Bird and Ernie and Oscar and all those. Um, I didn't have those. I wasn't going to go out and buy those. Um, but what, So what I did was I just followed along with any variegated color that I had which I happened to use um, some Craft Smart, you know, just what was in the stash. Um, and so, yeah, here it is. So each week we did one square. They're each 12 or 12 by 12 or 13 by 13. And then at the 10th video on the 10th week, we put them all together. So I don't know what order we, they went in. This is not necessarily the order that we created them in. Like little puffs in the corners. That one was really pretty. And this one that starts as a circle and then goes into the square. And these are, those are those bobbles I was talking about. You do, you know, you like double crochet four or five times and then you pull your hook out and you grab from behind, you pull it through and then you make these bobbles. So the faux bobbles on the other one was, a uh, was fun. Um, this one's got some, uh, post crochets and so... There is a little bit of pull on this square. Uh, you certainly can block it if you want to. I did not. Um, this one was another fun one. These again are like little bobbly things. 
and this one with a little loop de doos I didn't think that I would like this one, but I really do. Um, I wouldn't have created this on my own, but following along with her, I did, and look how fun. Another one that was a circle. Oops, I'm caught on my winder. All right. So let's, let's show the whole thing, because it's gorgeous. Look how fun. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So yeah, go, go out there and find Bag of Day Crochet if you don't already know her. Subscribe to her so that you'll not miss any videos where she does another crochet along like this. And she just does lots of great tutorials. And I love her. I've followed her for years and years and years. And it's been really great watching her grow because she's a phenomenon now. So um, yeah, so those are my three Bag of Day Crochet items that I'm so happy I made. And um, I encourage you to make them as well. They were a lot of fun. Um, I appreciate you sticking around with me and watching today's video. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I'm getting new subscribers all the time, and I really appreciate the love and support that you give to me. Uh, likes, thumbs up, comments, all that good stuff down below. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.